Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. My name is Emily. And you're watching The Chat Down. So for today's video, I always seem to uh, get Emily to do a video when I'm trying candy. Twist my arm. <laughs> um, but today we are trying uh, vintage candies from basically the past century, mainly like early like 1920s and 30s, some 50s, basically every decade. And there is this store that's about 30 minutes from me that it's a really cool store, has lots of different stuff, but it has an entire section of all of this old school candy. And I went a little crazy. Uh, I got a lot of candy and Emily hasn't seen how much candy I got. So I'm gonna go get it. Scary. It's hiding. So I'm gonna go get it and we're gonna get a live reaction. Oh God. <laughs> all right, open. Holy shit. <laughs> so I have a story as to why this is in a basket. I had all of my candy in a shopping basket because it was a lot. And I get up to the cashier and he's looking at me like I'm crazy. And he, he goes, is this all for you? And I like panicked. I was like, I don't want, I don't want to say it's all for me because that's weird. I'm also not going to say that it's for a video because that's even weirder. <laughs> so I was like, um, it's actually for a gift basket raffle for work because we literally just had a gift oh. basket raffle this week. And he's like, oh, cool. And then this other guy comes up and he's like, do you have a basket yet? And I'm like, uh, I thought he was talking about like the shopping basket that I was using. And I was like, yeah, it's right there. And he's like, no, do you have a basket for your raffle? And I'm like, oh no. And he's like, here, you can take this one for free. So he literally gives me a basket for my gift basket that I'm not actually <laughs> making. So I figured I'd just put it in the baskets to use it. And if that man is ever watching this video, I'm sorry I lied, but um, I'm using your basket. Self-conscious. And it looks great. It does. Well, thank you for the basket, kind sir. And then I have some info on all the candies on here and I have them organized by decade. We're gonna try some and then I'm doing a part two um, of this video with my grandpa. So keep an eye out for that. So we're gonna do some today and then we're gonna do the rest with him, um, but I'm gonna let Emily pick what she wants to try. We'll start with prior to 1920. We're gonna start with Google Clusters and like just the name of that sounds amazing. Like when I hear Google Cluster, I'm like, uh, yes please. And this was made or started in 1912. Guarantee of satisfaction. Your Goo Goo should be fresh and Your in goo -goo. good condition. If not, we will replace it. Just return the unused portion and tell us oh, that's weird. where and when you bought it. Why do they want the unused portion? <laughs> Whoa, that's large. That's what it looks like. Well, don't take too big a piece in case you need uh, to return it. Sure. <laughs> what do you think they would do? I have no idea. What is that? Is it like at the cake? bottom? This is probably not focused, so. What is that? It looks like soft, like a cake. Whatever it is, it's delicious. I like that. Who's returning that? Good <laughs> it's really good. Mm. I like that a lot. I'm not disappointed. I had no. high expectations for that and paid off. I was not disappointed. For being a cluster from the 1912, it's still pretty tasty. I know. They knew what they were doing back then. Yeah. <laughs> I give that like a 10, I guess. 10 out of 10. I don't yeah. have any complaints. So we're going to do Rocky Road. I feel like I've heard of this just because of the name. Right. It was but made in the 1918, but it was popular in the 40s and 50s. Yeah. I, yeah, just because of the flavor, like ice cream. She's thick. <laughs> Ooh, she's thick. Oh, yeah, that's so white. It's a little uh, broken. Yeah, I'm just bite All it. All right, I'm just going to bite it. Yeah, the marshmallow to nut ratio is a tad off. You get a lot of marshmallow. A tad off. And then a little nut <laughs> and chocolate. I don't mind it though. I still like it. I like the chocolate. I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a seven. I think it'd be better if there were more nuts. Nuts. Like nuts within the marshmallow. Or just like a thicker layer on top. All right, so next we're gonna do Chuckles, 1921 by Fred Amend. There's cherry, lemon, black licorice girl, <laughs> orange, and lime. I'm very glad that black licorice became less of a thing. Which color are you going for? <laughs> oh yeah. They're not, jelly candies. Not black licorice. I'm gonna do orange, is that okay? Should I man up and do black licorice? Yeah, I mean, if you do black licorice, I feel like I should do it too. I can bite half of it. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> For some reason, we're going with the worst flavor. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can. We'll eat it first, and then we'll go with a, yeah. a normal. Yeah. Should we do a uh, leading tramp style? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more romantic than a black licorice flavored chuckles. You didn't eat half. <laughs> that is so awful. It feels like I'm like licking a permanent marker. <laughs> I was gonna say tar. Oh my god. Why? Anybody out there who's watching, if you like black licorice, I'm, just, I'm not even apologizing. No, I'm gonna it's say disgusting and you're weird. Who hurt you <laughs> as a child to make you like that flavor? That's that's vile. If I ever commit a crime, <laughs> I don't need to go to jail. You just need to be with black licorice, and I will like <laughs> for some time. beg for mercy. Tie you down. All right, I'm going with the orange because that's what I originally wanted to go for, and I'm looking crazy in the sun. What was the green flavor? Lime. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Okay. Mmm. I can dig that. I like the orange. Mmm. This one's really good. Yeah. Did not taste medicine-y. Cherry? Mm. That's good. You know you have a good cherry candy when it doesn't taste medicine-y. They accomplished something. Mmm. Um, aside from creating the devil's flavor. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to judge it based on that the black licorice. Based off the orange... I give it like a seven. Hmm. Solid jelly candy. I'd give it an eight. It was nice to chew. It wasn't like too yeah. hard. Didn't like stick in your teeth too not much. Too, not too hard, not yeah, too soft. They just made a flavor. bad flavor. So that's why I'm gonna knock a couple <laughs> points. Next we're trying Abba Zaba. This was invented in 1922 by Annabelle's Candy Company. And it is a chewy taffy with a peanut butter center, which taffy and peanut butter sounds interesting. I watched that one video you did for the unboxing and it was supposed to be uh, cookies and cream. <laughs> oh my God, that was, I, well, it's so funny because I was dying when I was watching that back because I was so excited for it in the yeah, beginning. And I was like, girl, you don't know what's coming. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's Speaking awesome. of off colors. <laughs> <laughs> that's off putting. This looks like a, a mystery airhead. Oh, what does it smell like? Nothing. <laughs> um, Can you break it without breaking your hand? Should I just bite into it? Because I feel like I'm not going to be able to break it off. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Did you lose a tooth? Oh my god. Well, it's a good thing your uncle's a dentist. I don't think I got any peanut butter. <laughs> I feel like I'm making a lot of noise. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not bad. It feels like a horse. Just, yeah, it doesn't feel like a food. <laughs> I forgot to ask. Mm. Have you ever heard of this? No, I have not heard of this either before. No, before this, I've never heard, heard of this. Go go or goo goo. I've heard of Google cluster, but I've never tried it. What would you rate this? Five. Yeah, this is like a four. I give it a four. four. The outside taffy doesn't taste like anything. No, it doesn't have a flavor. And it's really hard. It's good jaw workout if you're yeah. looking for something to work those muscles out. Um, I mean, the peanut butter, I guess, tastes fine. But yeah. the combination together doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, God. Turkish taffy. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I, when I saw that, I was like, this is going to bring back some uh, some memories. Oh, it's strawberry flavored. Is it supposed to be like the toffee Turkish delight? I don't think it's like Turkish delight. Well, it's Pray it's not. <laughs> so it's better not do me dirty. Bonomo, Turkish Chappie, and it was invented in 1912 and re in 2010. So basically, if you haven't seen our Australian snacks video, we were, uh, ate or tried Turkish Delight, and if you haven't had Turkish Delight, it was not delightful. <laughs> it's not. This says smack it and crack it, and I read that like you're supposed to like smack it, crack it against something. Strawberry color, looks like hard Pepto-Bismol. Thank you for that. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Feels like there's suck on it. Tastes like strawberry medicine. <laughs> they really liked, um, taffy. Like, hard candy. Like, are you supposed to eventually be able to chew this? Oh! There's directions. Alright, step one. Hold bar and palm of hand. Step two. Strike against a flat surface to break into bite-sized pieces. 
Step three, let candy melt in your mouth. Yeah, so you're, you're supposed to just let it melt in your mouth. And not in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely better than Turkish Delight. Yeah. It doesn't really compare at all. No, I don't hate it. I'd give it I don't, like a seven. Yeah, I don't hate it either, actually. Yeah, I'd give it a seven too. All right, we're gonna try buns next. Pearson's bun. Originally made in 1920s by Wayne Bunn. So this is maple flavor. I don't know if this is an original flavor. I feel like it was. Um, with real milk chocolate, Virginia peanuts, and nougat. You have not heard of this before? No, I haven't. I have not heard of I'm this either. very skeptical. And I have meat. not tried it, obviously. Nougats, maple, and peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds so interesting. Little, uh... It is artificially flavored maple, too. Oh, it looks like a goo goo cluster. It's like the same thing. <gasps> Imposter. Who copied who? Goo Goo Cluster was made first. Goo Goo Cluster was made in 1912, and this was made in 1920s. It looks exactly the same. This doesn't have caramel in it, though. Oh, yeah. Maple flavor is there a little bit. Yeah, the maple flavor flavors there just a little bit. It's not overpowering. I don't mind it. Yeah. I like the Goo Goo Cluster better. Yeah, I know I this isn't a comparison, but I'm going to yeah. compare it because I really like the Goo Goo Clusters. Yeah. But I'd still give it like a seven or an eight. Maybe a seven for me. I'd go with like a six. It wasn't my favorite. Mm. Do you do you give it lower because you think that they copied Goo Goo Clusters? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 1930s. What happened in the 1930s? Great Depression. Hmm. People were sad. Mm. We need to cheer him up with some some candy. Sugar. What do we got? Sky Bar sounds interesting because okay. it's four different things. Oh. And it's by Necco. I wonder if because it's like the Great Depression, did they do like different so you get like multiple candy bars? You in feel one. like you're getting more more bang for your buck. And you've never heard of this before? No. I have not either. What one do you want to try? So there's caramel, vanilla, peanut, and fudge. But we don't know which is which. I mean I guess it's like that. Um, vanilla sounds interesting. You read my mind. Well, we're, we're assuming this is vanilla? Oh, yep, that one's caramel. All right, next to it. Was that vanilla? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me before I eat it. I guess? I can't really tell. <laughs> it's gooey like caramel, but it doesn't really taste like vanilla. It to me. Why? More like nougaty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Consistency of caramel without the caramel flavor. Not really a vanilla flavor. Mm. That was a little disappointing. Yeah. Should we try the peanut to give a, it, give it a chance? Give it a second chance? Mm. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen peanut flavor that consistency. It looks like caramel again. Is it peanut flavor? What are you eating? <laughs> yeah, it's peanut flavor. <laughs> I feel like it shouldn't have taken you that long to figure that out, though. Why are they all the same consistency? Yeah. That made it worse. Yeah. <laughs> we should have stopped while we were ahead. I'm gonna give that like a four, five. Three. I'm gonna give it a five. You wanna have a cigarette? <laughs> do we have to talk like I can't even do it. Controversial. Ooh, I'm gonna have to blur it out. Oh. Like AJ. Backstreet Boys. Mm. They always used to blur out his cigarettes. Um, so we have King's Candy Cigarettes. These came out in the 1930s and were popular until like the 50s, I think. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Looks like you're sucking on a lollipop. Nobody can tell. You know the fun dip stick mm -hmm. that you stick in the sugar? Mm -hmm. That's this. No, those taste better. This is like a pepperminty flavor to it almost. Is it? I used to, with Fun Dip, I used to like try- I don't like it though. No, it's like chalk. <laughs> I don't like it. One. Um, I don't mind it, I'd give it like a five. Really? Yeah. A hunk, a hunk of bird and love. All right, we're gonna try Big Hunk. This is 1950s. Yeah, 1950s, I don't have a date. By Annabelle, who else made the Annabelle? By the Annabelle. The Abba Zabba. Yes, so this is the same company as uh, Abba Zabba. Well, that doesn't help them. <laughs> it's low fat and gluten free. Oh my God. <laughs> I guarantee you those <laughs> were not there in the 1950s. <laughs> yeah, they didn't care. It's a chewy, honey sweetened nougat with whole roasted peanuts. Have you heard of this before? I have not, have you? I have not heard of this either. Peanut butter and toasted coconut. Uh oh. Like. Oh God. We're looking like an Abazaba. What? Why white? I don't know. What's what? white? What's making oh, it new color? Nougat. Nougat's white? So there's no chocolate. Why is it? Oh, oh God. God. They really liked their chewy ass candy. 
It's basically just like a white nougat, a hard nougat, the hard nougat with peanuts in oh. it, basically. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Not pleasant. Ow! Don't bite it! <laughs> I think it's like the... It has to melt in your mouth. Mm. This is why old people lose their teeth. Because <laughs> they spent decades eating this candy. <laughs> a four. I'd give it. No. What did I give this? I don't Seven. remember. Maybe I'll get a five. Because mm. I do like the honey flavor. Yeah. I like the flavor of this better than the Abba Zabba. Mm, yeah. The big hunk is better than the Abba Zabba. This makes me nervous. Yeah. A Chico stick. I have it's not heard of this before. Crunchy peanut butter and toasted coconut candy. The reason why I am nervous is because the it's combination says, A. Yeah, A. And then it says, break me, share me. So that right off the bat says it's going to hurt my teeth. <laughs> like, um, it's going to break me. And just literally. also like, it's really hard and like, it's just long. I don't know. Like, I don't know. The it's color just, is a little off. Yeah, the color, everything about it is <laughs> very questionable. <laughs> have you heard of this before? I have not. Chico stick is from the 1950s. We have a date. Nope. Atkins. Nope. 1950s by the Atkins Candy Company. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just not. Uh. Uh. All right. Should I just bite into it? I guess. I don't Try. know. Try. Attempt. Or break it, it says break it. You're going to break your teeth. That thing is hard. Man, they love to whack these things. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, how are you supposed to eat this if you can't bite into it? Well, you could probably. I just fear for your Because this is too big. It looks like a thumb. <laughs> oh, a thorn. It's not as scary as no. we were anticipating. As the color. It has the consistency of the center of a butterfinger. Yep. And crunchy like that. Yeah. And it's literally just a combo of peanut butter and coconut. I'm getting, at first I was like, hmm, I feel like the peanut butter is a little overpowering, but as I'm like chewing yeah, it, I got the, the coconut. coconut. And then I kind of get the peanut butter again. Mm. I, I don't dig it. mind it. Yeah. Wouldn't be my first choice, yeah. but I, I dig it. Yeah, I don't think the combo of peanut butter and coconut would be my first choice, but it's not as bad as <laughs> I expecting. I'll give it like a, I don't know, what do you think? I'd give it like a seven. Yeah. I think that's good. All right, we got Razzles. I'm guessing you've heard of these. Yes. And why? Where have you heard them from? This is a test. Yeah. Cause I, there's one specific movie that I've seen that like, they talk about this a lot in that movie. You have seen the movie. Well, maybe you haven't, but I feel like you have. I probably haven't. What movie? 13 going on 30. I haven't seen that. <gasps> that's why. So it's candy and then it turns into gum? Yes. Oh, that's yep. interesting. And this is 1960s. 1966. Right. Lemon, raspberry, grape, orange, and blueberry. Well, I can't try the blueberry. <laughs> That's your big blueberry. Are you supposed to chew it? Oh, mm -hmm. no. Didn't wow me. No. Nah. Didn't rasp. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like by the end of this, you're just gonna have a big old wad of gum in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor's all right. You know, decent fruity flavor, but the gum's kind of hard. Well, the flavor doesn't last very long. No. Um, I'm gonna like a six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's really blue. Hmm. Is my tongue razzle red? No, did you swallow it? No, I don't know. That's what they talk about in the movie, Razzle Red. Oh. <laughs> it's on Netflix if you want to watch it. Yeah. What's in a whatchamacallit? Whatchamacallit. So I have heard of this. I have as well. And looks like that. It was made in 1978. So around in the 70s. It is uh, chocolate, peanut flavored crisps, and caramel. That sounds good. We shall see. Things got a little weird in the 70s, so I don't know. Hence why there's Pop Rocks <laughs> were made in the 70s. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, nice. Ooh. I think I'm gonna like this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God. Look at that. I don't like the peanut flavor. Mm. It tastes like, makes me feel like I'm chewing into peanuts. It reminds me of like a generic brand, off-brand Reese's peanut butter cup, the flavor of the peanut. So oh yeah, hmm. you get that. But I like the texture of the rice. I like the oh. texture. I just I don't see the point in having it being peanut flavored and caramel. because yeah. I can't taste the caramel. I'd rather just have strong. rice, puffs, caramel, and chocolate, hmm. and no peanut. All right, so we're in the 1980s, and we're gonna do a cow tail. If I had to guess, 
I would think this is one of the oldest candies. Right, it looks and like it. It's not. It's made in the 80s. <clears throat> I have heard of this, but I've never tried it. If I have, it was a long, long time ago. I feel like I've had it. They have had it. They make them smaller. They have a couple different flavors. I got the vanilla because I think this is like the original. It's a creamy, oh no, a chewy caramel with a cream center. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cream are we talking here? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a churro. <laughs> Makes me want a churro. Yeah. I'm just going to bite it. We're getting softer. As the generations go on, we're getting softer. Or decades, I should say. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it at all. I'm getting a lot of plastic flavor. <laughs> That's what that taste is, okay. Oh wait, now it's tasting like something. That's supposed to be caramel? I get vanilla. I definitely get the vanilla. Yeah. Um, I don't get caramel at all. I give it uh, like a two or a three. So now we're on to the 90s. The best decade of them all. I feel like the 90s were severely underrepresented at this store. And the majority of the stuff that they had was like sour stuff. But that's like when, the, that's when like sour stuff Warheads. became big. Yeah, like Warheads. Mm. All right, so we're going to try Crybabies. These were made in 1991. I've never heard of these. Good year. Are they Warheads? Great year. They're extra sour candies. Ooh, I'm already starting to salivate just thinking about them. Uh, yeah, my... My, uh, whatever, you know how, like, they tingle back here? Yeah, and you're like, pucker glands. Pucker. <laughs> Maybe have you heard of these? Just like Chucky Finster. Just like Chucky. I have not heard of these. I have not heard of these either, so I guess we're not good 90s babies. No. We got lemon, cherry, grape, orange, and watermelon. Definitely going for the watermelon. <laughs> All right, ready? Ooh. Oh, I really like that flavor. Oh. Ooh, right here. <laughs> Ooh. <yeah. laughs> oh, it's really hurting. <laughs> I haven't had anything sour in a long time. I took the cherry one. It tastes like medicine. I didn't think that mine was that sour. Really? Like I got one like swift kick and that was Mine's still going. I really like this. Let me try watermelon. Watermelon's good. I give them a mm -hmm. nine out of ten. Yeah. They've got good flavor though overall, other than mm -hmm. like the medicine flavor, but mm -hmm. Feel like that you're just gonna have that in candy or cherry, well, cherry or grape. So that's all for this video. Make sure to stay tuned for part two of vintage candy taste test uh, with my grandpa. That should be a good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Let me know in the comments below what candies you liked when you were a kid. And if we forgot any or missed any, yeah, let me let us know if we forgot any really big popular candies from back in the day. Let us know what you liked. Let us know what you hated then. Um, yeah. Anything else? Bye. Bye. <laughs>